My name is Domingo de Grazia. With me is Mr. Lance Labor of the de Grazia Gallery. Together we are the Tucson Dudes. Welcome to the de Grazia Gallery in the Sun. We are on the National Historic Register. We've created De Grazia's studio for uh, people to, to enjoy, and we have some original art. We have De Grazia's Chivas Regal, his Copenhagen, all his personal effects with the uh, palettes. So I don't have any uh, direct memories of my dad or him painting or anything of that nature, but I do have a lot of his artwork and his uh, creations before they became full pieces of art for sale to the public so I get to see an inside glimpse at what he did and his creative process and what worked and what didn't work so I get a little bit of a history that I guess most of the public doesn't get to see and it's really cool for me to go back and try to piece together my dad's life and his creative process and how he made the selections between what was in his mind's eye versus what came out on paper and um, I'm really kind of fortunate to, to see that part of his life. Grazia did worked in every medium possible. He worked in oil, he worked in watercolor, he did jewelry, he did ceramics. Anything you can think of, he worked in. Degrazia liked to paint series of paintings. Uh, he painted the Yaki Easter, and he painted uh, Papago Indian Legends, and the room we're in now is the Bullfight. The story of the bullfight is just one bullfight. There are 29 paintings in this series. Starts with the matador and the trumpet player and the crowd and moves all the way around uh, with the matador playing bull and it ends with the bull being dead. Some of the images behind me are part of my dad's bullfight collection and it, they're some of my favorites just because of the colors used. The imagery with the reds and yellows uh, really evoke a lot of power and a lot of passion and you get to see some of the movement and uh, some of the struggle within the bullfight and that's why these have become some of my favorites. We're standing in the retrospective room uh, in the Grazi Foundation, the Grazi Gallery. This is the oldest painting in our collection, uh, which was painted in 1925, Grazi was 16 years old. There's two Indians depicted in this painting. What's interesting about the painting is the use of negative space. De Grazia painted the painting and made uh, a candle in the center here by painting around it. We're standing on the grounds of the gallery where my dad De Grazia was buried. And the amazing thing about this part of the Sonoran Desert and, and this part of the, the gallery grounds is that there's so much wildlife. You can see birds, you can see the javelina, you can also hear the cicadas that are in the trees that are going off constantly. It's really an amazing, serene piece of property that's held the same kind of charm that it had 20 years ago, 30 years ago, and you can experience all of it today. The gallery property is 10 acres. The first building built on the property was the Mission in the Sun that De Grazia uh, built with many of his Indian friends. I want to welcome everybody to the 
inside of De Grazia's Mission in the Sun. Uh, this was the first building that De Grazia built on the property for the reason that it was a Me Mexican tradition. When you become a landowner, you build a mission or a chapel on your property to give thanks. And that's what he did when he bought this property. Over the years, people have been visiting this mission and bringing all kinds of offerings and leaving their prayers. And we try to leave them uh, as much as we can. Uh, over time, it gets to be so crowded with, with different things that we have to pile them up and uh, I'd actually bury them. The interesting thing about this mission is that many, many people have gotten married here over the years and we still probably have half a dozen weddings a month. Very, very popular wedding destination. Interesting to think that in the chapel here, the chapel that was built based on the traditions of the local Hispanic population, that so many weddings happen here. And in Spanish, the word for a spouse is esposa. Um, the interesting corollary to that is that if you put an S on the end, esposas, in Spanish, in the right context, that means handcuffs. The mission was dedicated to Father Kino in honor of Our Lady of Guadalupe. This is the De Grazia's original little gallery. This was his first gallery that he built on the property. And in the wintertime, we use this now for guest artists. Every, every artist in the wintertime gets two weeks to show their work and uh, to get a little publicity for themselves. This is the original house that De Grazia lived in. Uh, from 1952 till about 1965. The fireplace behind me is one of the kind of uh, typical fireplaces that would have been built in this part of the country and you can see them throughout the gallery and throughout the buildings on the grounds. It's a traditional brick and uh, mud mortar fireplace that is shaped to whatever the artist or the creator uh, desires for whatever functionality they need and uh, it really does work fascinatingly well to hold in heat and kick out the ambient heat to the room. We're standing in the kitchen of De Grazia's original home. He lived very simply back in the uh, 50s. Wood burning stove and, uh, and they also had a loft in the backyard that they slept in when it got too hot in the summertime. 